All right, where we left off, we just got into Toad Town. So we just came in the entrance over there, we talked to the toad with the red hat, and now we ventured over here, because when I explore things, I like to go in a circle, seeing the surroundings, and then go towards the middle. Looks like we'll have to, like, swim across for the star piece. So anyway, I want to talk to the people in this house, see what they have to say. Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. But Mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. You need those chicken tendies. You need those, those good boy points, man. How come? Cause, cause you want the the tendies. You want the tendies. You want the the forced memes that the the recording person's doing. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. I'm gonna grow up without a father figure. Yay! But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. Never mind. <laughs> when I said I'm glad cause dad's at home, I got scolded. Damn. What's up? Yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> Earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses. I fell right over. It was so horrifying. I'd just like to forget it ever happened. I like these houses in video games that they kind of serve a purpose, they kind of don't. Let's see, what do they have? They have a bookcase, they have a thing, maybe there's a picture there I can't see. They have a lamp, they have a mantle with some cups. Um, they don't have a bed, or a kitchen, or a bedroom, or anything. So, they just, they sleep. I'm assuming toads sleep. Maybe they don't. Maybe they're just awake all the time because they're funguses. Fun guys. I don't know. Curious about that. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. You have one room, lady. It takes like tw 20 minutes to clean, maybe. It's not hard. Thoroughly, okay, maybe half an hour. But that's like, with a toothbrush. Like, it would not take long to clean this room. At least I have a fireplace. Maybe. Maybe that wasn't a fireplace. What are you doing, son? Oh no! Doom! Danger! Princess Peach's castle is flown away up into the sky. No castle, horrors, only a hole remains. Her beloved castle, where is it? Spread the word! Outrage! Outrage, huh? This guy's a bookster. I kind of like this music. I kind of don't understand it. Oh, salutations! You are Mario, are you not? I am. He? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad Rusty. Rusty. Pleasure to meet you. What's the T stand for? Trombone? Rest trombone? As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Every visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Oh, tell me, old man. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So it is told that far away, at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven where stars make their home. It's called outer space, but yeah. In star haven, there's a treasure called a star rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They're called star spirits. Are there evil ones as well to keep them in check? I don't know. Using the magical star rod, these star spirits grant the wishes of everyone in this world, not Santa. That's why when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, it's all thanks to the star spirits and their star rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, feel free to ask. Yeah, maybe later. I like lore and stuff, but I don't... Oh. I was gonna try and climb a ladder that's, you know, in focus. Guess that's not gonna happen. Alright, what else do you have to say? A little timely information on how to operate controls. Okay. This is the Z button to spin and run. Spin dash. Hey, hey, oh. You can press Z to go back and read the previous message again. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course, I can just read and then continue, but I guess that's useful. If you press up. Yep. Of course, for mine, it's like left, but. If you move the control stick slowly, I will walk slowly and quietly. Can I sneak up on things? Sometimes it's good. Yep. That's why it's an analog stick. It has more than just on or off. Can go in increments. Of course, when they say slowly, they just mean like that. As opposed to that, there's two speeds. There's slow and run. All right, what's in this pipe? Oh, it goes to my house? <laughs> okay. 
I mean, pipe transportation. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing there right now. Uh, that's, that's, man. I cannot channel my inner spaghetti Tino accent now. Spaghetti. <laughs> Well, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. You're all right. After that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Huh? <laughs> Nani? Bakana? Don't ask me why they say those things. I'm just... my weeb's coming through. Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario, nice to meet you. I see, great, just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. Yeah, Luigi gets left in the dust, always. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? He's sad because I get to bang all the bitches and he doesn't. This is cool. I know in the Thousand Year Door you can't really go back home, so. This is cool that you can at least go to your house. Connects to Toad Town. We just have pipes laying in the back. Why not? Wait, wait. Oh, that's for the bush. I thought it had an exclamation mark over the pipe. Looks like we had an add-on back there. Huh. Just have to save that princess, and I will. Let's try to see what's up. Yeah, this does have my stats. Alright. 48 coins earned, 3 out of 80 badges, 160 star pieces, damn. And question marks, 15 battles, 5 first strikes, enemies, 0, that's cool. This game may be long, <laughs> a lot of episodes. Yeah, I'll sleep. He looks comfy when he sleeps. I can get letters, that's cool. We each have a set. See, at least we have beds. We have beds and a table. Like all the other people's houses, they just have a room that they stand in for for all time. You don't say anything new, do you? Nope. Save that princess. Alright, nothing back there? No? Cool. Peach's Castle, Goomba Village. Is this a shop? Yeah. Figured they had an item there. Fright Jar makes a scary spirit appear and chase enemies away. Sleepy Sheep, Pow Block. Flips shell enemies. Flicks two damage on all. Burns everyone fire. Sweet Honey Syrup, 5 FP. Yeah, let me buy a couple mushrooms. Let me buy three, actually. I need those, and then I'll take uh, one fire flower for later. Graphical glitches come free, so those are nice. Shroom grocery. Can I help you? Oh, I can sell? Yeah, cool. I won't, but it's cool. What are you... Oh, is that like a bank? I can store items here. And I can claim ones I've checked. Okay. So if I run out of inventory space, I can just do that. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll buy one of those two. Alright. Now that I'm almost poor. <laughs> I'll leave. You know, you can carry up to 10 items. Okay, up to 10. When you can't carry any more, it's a good idea to go to a shop and ask them to hold them for you. You can even claim the items at any other shop. That is convenient, I don't see how they know to do that, unless they always have copies. They're taking his word for it. This guy said he claimed an item, uh, let's just get him one of ours? Yeah, okay. Cast away and the prince was kidnapped, these are dark days, everyone in town is suffering, yet my heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet- oh. Oh, is this... Um, Toadio and... Toadette? I couldn't think of Toad Juliet, that sounds wrong. Does that make me wicked? It makes you horny, it's alright. My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. Radical. Oh, they both talking. Uh, well, they're gonna do it behind the old man's barn later, I guess. 
Have you gone back to my house yet? Luigi was wondering how you're doing. Yeah, I went back. Pipe before the main gate, yep. Pressing down on the controls, so that's what I did. I didn't even know I had to do that, I just did it. Give me a tour. Yeah, I'll give you a tour if you give me some money. You can go to- any one of these people can go to my house at any time. It's kind of sad. Good, I mean, bad, but Luigi's there to fend him off, I guess. Oh, ha ha ha, you don't have it? Have what? The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. Ha ha ha, I have it. What, what degree? I fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toad. I'm gonna get a black belt and kick your ass, but all right. <laughs> you keep thinking you're hot shit there, toad. Peach's castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What, what'll become of Princess Peach and the others? I'm scared, I'm scared, I have Felicity. I'm so scared, oh. So that's, that's the Toad's joke, they just put tea on the end to make... Oh, I guess I have to like, build a bridge or something, or get a little boat. On paper, so maybe it'll be like, it'll probably be like Thousand Year Door, where I have different forms, and then I'll make, take a, like a paper boat form, to go across water, that, that sounds about right. Why is there a box back here? Is this supposed to be there? Get it out of the way. Whatever, what's up here? Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Looks like a ghost. Looks like he's spooky. So he'll be like, Our master? No. Ooh, master was a strong man. He's going to come back a very, very strong man. We'll wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. He sounds like a bad, shitty play version of Dracula ripoff. The way I talk about it. Above us on the top floor, there's a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. I want to train. Unless our master isn't here, in which case the dojo's closed. A letter just arrived saying he'll return soon. We will train again soon. Why do you have, like, is that like a top knot on his shell? It's like hair. A braid. Whatever. Is there a save point in this town? That's a free star piece. And nothing back there. Just checking. I see. Okay, there's something over here. What are they doing? Are they setting up wood? What the hell are those things? I don't know. I'll find out in a second. The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed to rain wood. Just like when I see a pretty girl. <laughs> As a result, we can't get to the southern part of town. Ah, oh, that's not good. The train station, the port, many important things lie south. Not being able to get there is a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. Toad Town, newsflash, Princess Peach kidnapped, castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. Alright. See another tree I can whack. For no benefit! That's alright. What is this spinny dome thing? Merlon is out! Okay, the wizard... a wizard Merlon, maybe? Where it is on the at student star stomach, never been. Go through the blue gate there and bear right at Peach's Castle, where it used to be. <laughs> yeah, oops, I forgot. Castle is, uh, gone. Building with a spinning roof is Merlon's house. He's weird. Is he Merlon the Magnificent? Is that what's going on here? He also happens to be stubborn as a mule, and rarely comes out. As weird as he is, though, his talent is no joke. He can read the stars. Hmm. He predicted that I'd be back safe and sound, huh? Safe and sound. See the blue pole? It's a road sign. You can find out what's what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. Signs, sign everywhere, signs. What am I telling you this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read all the signs you see. North is the castle, west the main gate, east is Pleasant Path, Port Station South. Alright. Here we here's the safe point. I like how the door falls flat when I enter. Greetings, my name's Paracary. I deliver letters. That's cool. It's another old man. Yes, hello. This is the post office. 
Read any letters that arrive for you or for your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well... Oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Uh, probably the only one I have. We can borrow you. A letter from the red and blue ones to him? Okay. Here you go. Barrio. You're a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you're just some punk goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us. And you showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be... Friends? Please say yes. Why do they want to be friends with this kid? I'll be waiting. I guess we'll have to go back eventually. And that'll be... Backtracking? I don't know. We'll keep the letters for you. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by anytime you want to read some letters. Would it make you disappointed in me if I told you that was my Sean Connery? Because that's what I was attempting. Yeah, it's okay. I don't like it either. Is this another item shop? A different kind? Restorative? Instead of useful? I don't know. He's got... <laughs> These evil band of toads. Like fucking tunnel snakes rule over there. Oh, this is an inn. Okay. Fine shit. Nah, I don't need to take a nap. Okay. So toad signs are toad houses. In which toads live. Beneficial toads for like an inn. Okay. I just don't... Why is this here? I guess that, that little like path to fit the aesthetic of this garden place. This is cool. Is that like a portal that'll open later, or is it just there to be a garden? Oh, her name's Minty. Look at Minty. Always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Or a mint. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy. What would you say if I could plow her, like, tonight, bro? <laughs> a Mario, for Christ's sake. Come on. Water and dirt. Sunshine power. Beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I'll deflower your garden, sweet. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bubbles have the only known seeds. Oh, it's like bombums. Bubbles. That's what a bubble looks like. He's like, <laughs> His face. <He's> like, <laughs> if you find a bubble, can you get seeds for me? Yeah, I can give you my seed if you want. I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Never say that to a girl, kids. You get slapped in the face. Oh, you didn't? I heard him. What are you doing? Hey, I see the bottom of that crate's moving. Did you see that? I did. Hey, mister, you're a customer, aren't you? For what? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Oh, he's building a shop? Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph. <laughs> Ralph's the name. Starting me up a little business in Toad Town. Still setting up, though. I wanna see you back in here when we open, alright? I don't, I don't know why they're all, like, like pseudo-Bostoners, but that's just my voices run together like that, I guess. So we got a port down here. Apparently there's a gaping hole. Oh, yeah, there's wreckage here. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when the earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all this scattered wood. I guess the shop owner there will take it and build a shop, huh? Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. Or they can just restack it. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us when we get everything in order. I can literally jump over this. Why would you... It doesn't matter. Fucking game conventions. I'm assuming I have to go... Well, I have to go Star Summit, so I'll probably have to go north, because these Tunnel Snakes rule guys are blocking the path. But I'll save before I talk to them. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. How about you fuck off, you little twerps? They look evil. They're evil for a reason. They have gray instead of white or off-white like these guys. Yeah, alright, we'll go north then. Through this wreckage. Here's the wreckage. I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning-quick feet got me out. 
I know Luigi made it along with maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Well, there is servants now. And slaves and all that. All that fun stuff. Look, a fountain. Is it, is it broken? I guess that's kind of broken. I don't know, it still works. Is there anything over here? I feel like I could probably bust the rock up. Maybe if I had like a bomb or something. It looks kind of like it, but maybe not. Oh, purple grass, huh? I'm sorry? Oh, there's shooting stars? Alright. Fair enough. Can I get hit by them? It is shooting star summit. Oh, is that all it says? Yeah. Were there two paths? Merlovely. Drop by Merlovely's place. If I'm looking for some. Alright. Let's go visit Merlovely's place. Because with a name like that. <laughs> you know. Why, why wouldn't you visit it? I like the music here, it's cool. It's peaceful. I might listen to the OST for this game at a later time. On my own. Cause I like it. Oh, you can just, <laughs> you can just tell her to fuck off and go that way. Oh, it's empty. You gotta give me some items here, fam. Fam lama ding dong. Ah, oh, my, my. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlovely. I'm more lovely than you, that's hence my name. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. I can't see your face, so I can't decide if you're doable or not. But the mystery gets me horny. Anyway, my twinkle star, my twinkle star, is that code for... Vajania? I don't know. Her twinkle story will show me all that's hidden. My, my. Including my my super mushroom, and I don't mean my item. Shall I read your fortune? Yeah. Oh, I can get star pieces? Oh, I have to pay you money. I can get a badge, a super block. Well, I spent all my money already, so I can only get star pieces. Star pieces? It? My, my. Okay. I'll now read your fortune with grace and unrivaled good looks. Wow! <laughs> twinkle light, a twinkle bright. Wow, pang, woo, boy, wow, wow, wow. Uh huh. Oh yeah, a master star. Fill my eyes with the light of that which I seek. Some odd uh, phrases you're chanting there, friend. Oh, this is new. I don't think the black squares are supposed to be around there, but... <laughs> Other than that... I see. A star piece. That's what I paid you for. You don't go up the steps when you enter Shooting Star Summit. Instead, you go left. You see the piece on the ground. I don't go up the steps, I go left. Okay. So she tells me where things are if I don't want to look. Fair enough. Oh, you have friends? Oh, what is this? What's up here? Are you more lovely? I'm the famous Merlot. I prefer a nice Chianti, but more power to you there. Of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for him. Oh, you can trade star pieces for badges? Sure. Use me from being hit by first strike. Ooh, chill out. Pay off. The more damage I take, the more coins I get. So you want me to get hurt to get paid, okay. And I can change the sound effect. There's a badge for changing the sound effects. Exhibits fail to attack every once in a while. Ugh, sorry about that, a little tired. Text Mario from poisoning and dizziness. Stores HP automatically at a slow rate. I may get that later. FP automatically. Makes possible to see enemies' HP. That's why I have Tattle, though. 
In battle, makes most enemies who touch me take damage. That one would be useful. Makes more hearts appear, more flowers. Decreases my attack power by one, but I restore one HP per turn. That could be useful later. Money, money, money! Twice as many coins. Save one FP every time I attack. Increase jump and power, power by one. Jump and hammer. Huh, maybe later, dude. I like what you got. I don't want him just yet. I wonder what she has in a chest, though. She has a chest over there. Maybe it'll get items later? So instead of going up the steps to the stomach, I go left. Are these the steps? <laughs> Did I already get the star piece? I don't know. She said it's lying on the ground. I mean, there's nothing over here, though. Yeah, because that's over... Well, she mean over here. No, there's nothing over there. Okay. I'm wondering the background is going to change. Unless it does get darker. Oh, it fades out. It gets real dark. Now there's stars. Oh, it said... Oh, it's over there. Okay, that's what she meant. There's one over here. I like how I'm silhouetted. What is... Oh, I can't go back. That's cool. It's a cool effect. I'm silhouetted and then it's like moving on the background there. Good mystical area. We're just being bombarded by the cosmos at the moment. So, see, there's nothing here, though. Like, why would you make this part of the level if there's nothing there? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> My need to explore is being unrewarded. But I do like the music. That glitch was on. Oh, there's that old man star. Is there anything on this level? Probably not. He's like, why are you going in circles, Mario? Wait. Oh, never mind. His glitches, he is transparent. I'm assuming that's part of the game. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. Oh, they're all here. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven a place high beyond the sky. But didn't Bowser say that the star spirits were, like, captured? So why are they here? Are they projecting? We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. These guys are old. The Star... The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser's been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. He's just lonely, dude. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Uh, he just likes her, dude. I'm his, like, his high school rival. And I get the girl and he doesn't. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. If you need the Star Rod, then why do you guys even exist? If he, if any normal person can just come and take it. He seems content right now. You guys are like pointless, that's all I'm saying. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more. And then terrible things will happen. He'll get like... Oh, you can eat shrimp for four ninety nine. Oh, terrible. He'll ruin the economy. It's this responsibility of the seven star points to keep spirits, rather, to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. This guy's like Popeye. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you're not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He's made himself all powerful by making wishes with his star rod. He's terrible to behold, so he's he's invincible. He just wishes for immortality, and then I can't beat him. That's all he needs to do. But he won't do that, because he doesn't think that far. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in Star Haven, 
Are, are you not all here now? They are projecting. We can give you the power to fight him, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Yep. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. That's why you're transparent. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. Yeah, I'll save you, Gandalf the White. We are your last, our last hope, and we will. You will what? Help me? Okay. Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. We think the princess is going to be alright. I'm really worried about it. Yeah, I'm worried too. Save and continue. Sniffle. <laughs> Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Bring. Hey, you bitch! It's <laughs> basically what he's doing. <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You could just wish and make it come true for her to like you, you know. Then the game would be over, whatever. You know, the power that grants everyone's wishes, it's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they treat us as Koopas over the years. If you guys weren't such evil pricks, it wouldn't matter. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, I only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> That's her laughter. Oh, please. If only, if only somebody could help me. Huh? <laughs> Let me in! Hey! Hey! Listen! Hey! Hey! Listen! Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. I'm Navi. No, my name. My name is Twink. Ooh, like Twinkle, Twinkle, little star. Not like, not like a tiny, skinny, hairless gay man. Anyway, but you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get in here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. I thought the star had did that. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody would help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star red back from Bowser, okay? He's like, ah, I can't do that. Think you can do it? He's like, nope. <laughs> you know, the game would end if I did that, so for plot reasons, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Starvaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star could do. He's like a Mr. Meeseeks. Then, can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured, and I have to save them all as soon as possible. <laughs> nope, oh, I'm sorry, I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. It's like, what can you do? Well, I can make you a meat omelet. And then leave. <laughs> Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. That's... I hate that I'm technically an adult, and these things have bad connotations for my mind. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Yeah. You can have fun with that, Twink. 
It's Winked, do you think you could find Mario? No! Is he gonna be... No. Thought I'd get him as a partner. I'll take a star thing to him. This is the lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. That's a lucky star. Is that, like, made out of one of his friend's bodies? That's what I like to think it is. Oh, wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also... Please tell Mario that... I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay, can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Mario's like, oh, she's fine up there? Well, you know, good for her. I guess I'll leave her alone. Anyway, now don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Oh, this story time. Mario! Where are you? Well, I'm right here. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back to town, I guess, because that's all I can do. Ouch! Oh, sorry, sorry. So sorry. So very sorry. Sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's your Mario, aren't you? Yes. I think the stars I found you. Thank yourself, yeah. Thank, thank one of you I found you. How do you do? I'm a twink. <laughs> Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Ah, oh, yes, here it is. It's a description on the back page. No, it's, it's this is it. Take it. It's not every day you get a trinket from a twink, you know. A star-shaped pendant. Let's use the action command. Action command. That's the lucky star princess speech. Now it's yours, you can use the action command. I take a moment to explain what it is. Nope. This is important, I think you'll want to know. Nope. I don't even have to explain. Oh, he'll go away. Cool. Once you understand how to use it properly, you'll be even more powerful. Much tougher in battle now. I thought he would keep saying it's important and then I'd have to listen to it, but I guess not. Here you are. Oh, what is this bastard? What? It can't be. Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Kami Koopa, she'll shower me with praise, she'll give me a raise. Here I come. Oh. Impromptu fight. Awesome. I don't know what the action command is. I guess I'll read up about it later. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. HP 8. Attack power 3? Uh, magic attacks are no joke. I better take them seriously. And I will. Oh, okay. So the action command is press A when I hit him. So that's... Now we're playing the Thousand Year Door. Okay. That makes sense. Except that I didn't do it that time, but yeah. I can do it multiple times as well, maybe? There's like a slight bit of input lag due to um, emulation. Like, that wasn't right. <laughs> I don't even. <laughs> Definitely didn't do that right. I think I had to hold it back with left and then move it to the right to release and then it would have done more damage. That, that, that was probably right. Well done, you're as strong as they say. I know you'll be able to defeat Bowser. Going to return to Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well, Mario, see you later. You didn't tell me your words that she was safe and sound. You stupid thing. I was. You had one job. Are you telling me now? Yeah, oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from her. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Yeah, well, she has this giant... barbed Koopa dick to keep her busy. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave, you must save Princess Peach. And I will. Eventually. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. He's like, uh-huh. You know, let's go back to town. Let's go back to that save point. 
Because I kind of want to save now. So I can end the episode. Because it's going over. <laughs> Not that that's a bad thing. I like to keep them around, you know, the same length, though. Oh, Mario. Merlon was looking for you. He lives in the house with a spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. Just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlon to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Alright. Well, I'm gonna save first. And then... Yeah. <laughs> and the dojo's open. Okay. So I'll try to remember. Go to Merlon and go to the dojo. The save point was in that side of town, wasn't it? Because I'm stupid. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, here it is. Shave my princess. Save completed. These guys are still here, though. Don't go that way. Too dangerous. Yeah, don't go. Most of all. I had something about Merlon. Anyway. Say once more just to be sure. Alright. But I'll end the episode here. Ran a bit long. That's alright. About 41 minutes, 42 minutes. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.